Okay, the final mode is called the Locrian mode. So this time we start on the seventh note, which is going to be an F sharp. So you can play it here, you can play it here, play it here just because it's a little bit easier to play. So it's nice and slowly for you. notice in these modes and in these scales and shapes is there's a lot of symmetry there. For example in, this, in the G major scale, those two strings are exactly the same. The next two strings, exactly the same. And the next two strings, exactly the same. Then we go to the, start from the A. So those middle three strings are all the same. And the next two strings are the same. Next trip. Again, those two strings are the same. Now the next three strings are the same, you just have to move up one fret. Okay, next shape. So those two strings are the same. The next two strings are the same, you just need to move up a fret. Next pattern, the first three strings are the same. The next two are the same, you just move up a fret. Again, on this shape, the, on the start from the E, the first two strings are going to be the same. The next two strings are the same. The next one is also the same, it's just moved up a fret. And on the final shape, the first two are the same, the second two are the same, and the last two are the same. Okay, now I'm going to show you a routine that I often practice. See what I mean. and show you how to do it. Right then, how do we play this song? We start with the G major scale and we play it up in thirds as we did earlier. Then we 
we come down with the second pattern. Which is a Dorian mode. So we come down in the Dorian and we go up in the Phrygian. down in the Lydian. Then we go up in the mixed Lydian. Then we come down in the Aeolian. up in the Locrian. And then we come back down on the major scale. So that's that's your modes for you and the pattern. Also you can play any of the shapes that we did. variations that we did on the major scale you can apply to this extended um, framework. The pentatonic scale has uh, five different shapes so what I'll do, I'll play them all for you slowly and then we'll look at each one individually. We're going to do an E minor pentatonic so we're going to start on the 12th fret. Here's the second pattern which starts on a G, <coughs> which can be played on the 15th fret or the 3rd fret. I'll play it on the 3rd fret just because I feel like it. <laughs> shape, or third shape if you speak proper English. Okay, here's the fourth shape then. notes in this scale are E, G, A, B and D. The reason it's called pentatonic is because there's five notes. So all those patterns are just variations. Now what you can do with this is exactly the same as we did with the major scale. So you can practice doing it in thirds. runs in threes. You can do it in fours. Etc. You can do all the different patterns that we did earlier.